Hello, welcome to Kenya USA Times TV. DV2025 lottery application open to today. And this is the official website of uh, DV lottery application. It's dvprogram.state.gov. So be aware of scammers. And when you go to this website, the user interface is like this. Then you will begin your application by clicking the green uh, button. So far, so good. I have applied for a couple of applicants. And one of the applicants agreed for me to use this application as a learning tool for others. Welcome. I will take you step-by-step -step process on how to do successful uh, application. Okay, let's go. The first step, you have to input authentication code. You have to be careful to input it correctly. Okay. Then we submit. This will take you to, to the application form itself. It's called electronic diversity visa entry form. So it's like this. Everything is easy. Last name of this applicant. Let me copy somewhere here. Yes. Last name. Paste. Yes, I normally like to copy and paste from a Word document to the application itself. It's very fast. Then there is first name of this applicant. Paste. This applicant also has a middle name. Yes. So that is it. Last name, stroke family name, and then first name, I've written it correctly, and then middle name for this applicant is the way it is proceeded. Okay, this applicant is a male. Yes, he's a male. So, path date. This applicant was born September. Zero three nineteen ninety eight. Yes, city where you were born. Okay, I go and copy. Yes. It's correct. September 3rd, 1998. Country, Kenya, of course. You have to be careful to choose the right country of eligibility, Kenya. Country of eligibility for the DV program. Yes, are you claiming eligibility based on country where you are born? Obviously, yes. And then number seven, entrant photograph. We click here. And then I've saved the photo of this applicant on the desktop. Uh, and it has a name. Yes, this one. Yes, it's good to go. And then we come to this section, mailing address in care of this place in care of it's optional you can leave it uh, as blank or you can just write the name your name yes you can just write your name it has no harm if you leave it uh, blank or you just write your name. Let me see if it's okay. Osimo Esra. Esra Osimo. Yeah. Then the address. Uh, 
I copy, voila, and paste. Let me make sure this is capital. Best. C, address line two. This is optional. You can leave it blank. You can leave it blank. And then city. Remember, this is the mailing address. This city we are talking about is not the same as the city of path no it can be the same but uh, it's not a must for the mailing address to be the same as the city of path it's just for mailing purposes yes this person mm -hmm. copy This friend of mine is from this town, County Kericho, postal code is normally 2200, yes, 2200, yes, 2200, if you have no Postal, if you don't know the postal code, you just click here and it will be good to go. But for this case, we already know the postal code for Kericho. You can Google the postal code of, of the nearest post office you are in uh, or the school. You can use the school address, the nearby school address, Google the postal code. For our case, Kenya does not have zip code, so we normally use a postal code. And most uh, major post offices have postal codes. It's something you can Google, so it's not a rocket science country. This man comes from Kenya. Yes, Kenya country where you live today this person lives in kenya he is one of the applicants i know he will i'm praying for him to win this thing next year he will be in the u.s phone number is optional and because this applicant has given me the phone number to use I will just copy, copy, and then paste. That's it. Mailing email address. This is email address, which is different from mailing address. This is electronic email address. You must have a valid email address. Email address whereby you can access, you can receive messages, you can send messages. Yes, it's easy to create an, a new email address if you don't have one. Don't use somebody's email address. It's not a good practice. You may be blackmailed when the applications are out. Make sure that you use your own email address. It's very easy to create an email address or a gmail address it's very easy you can do it on your own and it's free you can do it on your phone it's free okay for email address uh, this does not give the option of copy pasting you have to input it manually yes it's wrong and with email address it's either all caps or lower cases it doesn't matter but for for clarity let me use all caps oh sorry oh more very short gmail 
at gmail.com. Esra Osi Emo at gmail.com. All right. Esra Esra Osi Emo. Okay. Gmail. Dot. Com. Yes. At gmail dot com. Let me confirm. I know. Email address is very important, and it's always good to tap double check. Esra or Siamo at gmail dot com is correct. It's always good to double check. Whatever you write, Ezra O C M O. Yes, Wakire. Number twelve. What is the highest level of education you have? For this person, he has just completed KCSC or Form Four High School qualification, and he has the certificate. So you click High School Degree. I know this may confuse people because we are used to high school certificate, but it doesn't matter for this case. You just say high school degree. If in any case you went to high school, but you, you dropped out, you will put this one, high school, no degree. If you have a university degree, you have to click this one. If you went to the university, but you dropped out, you click some university courses. If you have a master's degree, so forth, you click the right place. For this man, high school degree. Let me confirm, it's okay. High school degree. Number 13, what is your current marital status? The young man is still single. Yes. He's still single, so I click unmarried. Unmarried is the same as single. And if you've been married previously, maybe you divorced, you click divorce. But make sure that you have the court papers to prove that you are truly divorced. If you are legally separated, some people may separate legally. They will also need to have court orders uh, to specify the same. If you are married, you click married, and maybe your, your spouse is not a U.S. citizen. If your spouse is a U.S. citizen, you click this. For this man, he's unmarried. He's single. Number 14, number of children. This person is a single person. He does not have children. So we don't leave it blank, but we write zero. Yes, we write zero. And then we click continue. Then again, this is a review. We do a review. We do double checking. Mm, last name, let me confirm, CMO. First name, Ezra. Mm -hmm. Middle name, Osire. Mail, birth date September 03, 1998, city Kericho, Kenya, country of eligibility, Kenya, entrant photo, received. This is very important. Mailing address, Ezra Osiemo, peer box, blah, blah. This city, Kericho, Kericho County, postal code 2200, country, Kenya. For mailing address, don't even stress yourself. You can put whatever mailing address you, you can think of. There is no day Kentucky Consular Center or KCC will mail you anything, especially uh, in, on this, in this mo modern age. You know, previously, Diversity Visa Lottery used to be played through mail used to mail some documents, then 
there was some back and forth transaction correspondence but nowadays it's applied online so put whatever address you can think of maybe the nearest school the nearest college and for most people especially in kenya most people will not have a personal uh, bio box address address box or mailing box so people will use nearby school address and so forth so this should not this will not disqualify you from diversity visa lottery what is important is this place uh, your names mm -hmm. the correct uh -huh. then yes and then path date you have to write it correctly and then city of path write whatever city of path uh, that is reflected in your path certificate or your passport don't write anything outside that even though your city of birth is not a city even not even a town you have to write it the way it is for example in my case the city of birth according to the birth path certificate is not even a town it's not even a city but i had to put it so that uh, there'll be no mismatch between the information in my birth certificate and DV lottery application. So be careful. Don't put anything you think. It has to be something that can be packed up by the birth certificate or the passport. This is important. Yes. Uh -huh. You do a review, photograph received, which is important. Um, country of eligibility is also important yes what if country of eligibility your country of eligibility is um, maybe kenya but you are working in qatar this is where now you write country where you live today qatar obviously if you win this thing and you are in qatar you will now decide where to do your interviews it's not a big deal okay what is also important here is the mail, email, email address, email address. Make sure you have a valid email address whereby you can receive uh, messages or you can send messages. And I will double check for the last time this email address is oh, gmail, gmail.com. It's correct. Highest level of education you have achieved? Yes, high school. High school uh -huh. and married. And then, after double checking, we are now ready to submit this application. As you can see, this person is a single person. If he had, if he had um, said that he is married and has kids, this form. Will have, been, will have been different yes there will have been another form for the derivatives that is spouse and the kids but because he's a single person his application is very simple 